Hey, so this week I'm going to take you through something in Canva that really allows you to up your game if you are putting out presentations for students and want to be like right there, even though maybe you're not right there. So I'm going to jump in and show you how Canva has added video functionality in this free platform for educators. If you don't know about it, there's a whole playlist right there, but let's jump into this one. Today we're going to take a look at Canva and making a talking presentation that you can actually ship out to your students or colleagues, whatever you might want to do. And so we're at canva.com. Once you're logged in, if you go to this presentation tab right here, I'm going to go to talking presentation. Now there's a new feature here. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. Um, and it loads up basically everything you would normally see. You get to choose your template over here. And there's a couple different ways you can look at it uh, as far as the templates you want. This one right here I found pretty interesting. They actually have a template for you that shows you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, so I'm going to add all 14 pages. And you can see everything is editable like it normally would be in Canva but it gives you the instructions, right? So let me uh, shrink this down now that I don't need it anymore. How to make a talking presentation. It, literally the instructions are right here. So if you were presenting this, because it could be how to do anything, right? Um, how to solve Pythagorean theorem, how to calculate velocity. It doesn't matter what you're trying to teach or what presentation you want to put out there, whether if it's for uh, professional development or you just want to give your students a lesson, they can come back to you over and over and over. Or maybe you just want to make it once and then create a library of flipped lessons, sort of like your own tutorial. Well, this could be a way to do it. Just like any other video editing software, this just could be a way for you as an educator because Canva is free to make this thing in a pretty simple format. Now, another way to think about this is you could have students create a three or four slide pitch deck or project and then record themselves presenting it remotely and then ship it off to you or turn it in in your LMS. So anyway, you can see the steps, you know, you got to prep your material, right? The presentation is you. It's not what's in the background. Um, choose your template, fill it up with good stuff. Go to the recording studio and then uh, it just gives you some other stuff, you know, down at the bottom. Well, how you get there is up here. So I'm going to go to the three little dots in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to go to present and record. Now, if I just wanted to present this, great, I can click that. I'm going to present and record. So it's in beta right now, but still pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go to the recording studio and you can see that you need to set up your camera. So I'm going to allow, right? It's got my built in microphone ready to go. I'm actually going to swap that over to the mic I'm using right now. FaceTime camera is fine and position myself a little bit more in the center and start recording. It gives me my little countdown. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to make a talking presentation in Canva that you can ship out to all of your colleagues, your friends, or turn in as an assignment. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the next button. The first step you need is to make the presentation and have all your content ready to go. Make sure your timings are good, that your facts are right, that you spell checked and you can get the basic idea of what I want to say. And then I go to the next one. Once you choose your template to make your content look awesome, you are ready to move on to the next step. Now we're going to head over to the recording studio, which is exactly where I am right now. By the way, your cheesiness is not included. All right. So once I'm all done, I'm going to hit end. So maybe that's it. And I can add some notes over here on the right beforehand. So if I wanted to put some notes in here uh, for other people, great. I can do that. It's uploading and it's getting this thing ready to ship out. So I'll show you that once it's all done. Okay, so once you're all done, uh, you can copy a link to this and you know send it out Google Classroom, Canvas, Schoology, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, hit save and exit. But we also have the freedom to download this if you wanted to upload it to your Google Drive and share it that way. Maybe kids don't have internet access and you wanna give it to them in advance. So I could download my recording um, but I'm going to go ahead, I've got that link and we're going to pop it open in another browser. So now in my other browser, I hit play and down here in the lower right, I don't have my audio, uh, cranked up, but you can see it's down here ready to rock and roll. 
All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I am loving Canva and all the things you can do. Uh, this particular one is something that I think is a game changer for us if we want to generate those lists of things to really help students out where they can be self-directed, but find those resources that are connected to the teacher that they have and hopefully that they love. So uh, I hope that was helpful. We will catch you next time. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe and we'll see you later.